Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a is a real number. Then the negative of a is equal to negative 1 times a. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to rely on some facts which come from the field properties of the real numbers. If you recall, one of them is, for any real number x, we have that x plus the negative x is equal to 0. The second is that for any real number x, x times 0 is equal to 0. The third is the cancellation law of addition, right? If you recall, for any three real numbers a, b, and c, if a plus b is equal to a plus c, then b is equal to c. Uh, the fourth is that for any real number x, 1 times x is equal to x. And the fifth, I'll just write, we can use the commutative, associative, and distributive laws that we know of whenever we see that we may need them. Okay, so now let's get into the proof. So to start out the proof, let's give ourselves some real number a. Our goal with this real number a is to show that the negative of a is equal to negative 1 times a. And to do that, check this out. We are going to consider a plus negative 1 times a. Now, from fact number 4, we know that a is equal to 1 times a. So we're going to replace a with 1 times a. But now, from the distributive law, we know that this is the same thing as the product of a and 1 plus negative 1. Right, and you guys can verify by distributing the a across that this is equal to this. But next, from our first fact, we know that 1 plus the negative of 1 is equal to 0. So we can replace this parentheses here with 0. So we get 0 times a, right? And of course, according to the commutative law, we know that 0 times a is equal to a times 0. And from fact number 2, we know that any number times 0 is equal to 0. So this must be equal to 0. And again, from fact number 1, we know any number plus its negative is equal to 0. So we can replace 0 with a plus the negative of a. And so notice what we have here. We have shown that these two expressions are equal to each other. Now where we're going to apply the cancellation law of addition. And to see how we can do that, we can think of our lowercase a as our capital A. We can think of this as our capital B and think of this as our capital C. We see that a plus b is equal to a plus c, exactly the form that we want. So because we have something in this form, we are able to conclude that b is equal to c. In other words, we're allowed to conclude that negative 1 times a is equal to the negative of a. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.